What's up, YouTube family? Welcome to another Dropping Bombs here. Today, we have a little special one here on our hands. We're playing Pioneer. A lot of you have asked, or at least, you know, some of you have asked for more Pioneer content. And I think anybody who likes Pioneer content is usually the loudest. Now, we'll see if there are people that come out in numbers to make sure I can do uh, more Pioneer content like this. But the format is good. The format's really fun. People do not give Pioneer enough credit. And I'm going to be playing a PTQ on Friday. Um, what is it? The, yeah, the 14th of January. So whenever you're watching this video, you know, maybe I've played, maybe I haven't played yet, depending on the time. But it's something that I don't know a lot about the format. I've played it here and there. And, you know, there's been decks that I've liked. There's been decks I haven't liked. Things have changed a lot. The one thing that's always been a constant is these Is It Phoenix decks continue to be just really strong. Now, this one that we're going to be playing, this is a list brought to us by Batatinha, um, an awesome Magic Online grinder uh, person I've played against even at Pro Tours. Just a phenomenal Magic player. So, huge shout out to... Uh, uh, to Batatinha. Uh, love copying his lists. He's he's very good. So if you haven't checked out any of his lists and you see him on a deck dump, you can trust these lists. Corey endorsed. But this list is, is really different. So it's a Thing in the Ice list. So we are going to be trying to play Thing in the Ice on turn two pretty consistently. And then, you know, cast a bunch of spells, try to flip it into an Awakened Horror um, and, and try to win that way. That's kind of kill condition number one, one and a half-ish. Another thing is, well, this is a Phoenix deck. So, Arc Light Phoenix, being able to <coughs> generate enough value and enough spells in one turn that you bring back Arc Light Phoenix and attack, you know, maybe with multiples, and you can kind of win the game that way. Those are kind of our main win cons. Now, we're going to be talking about kind of the secondary win con and something we're going to be kind of taking from standard, um, you know, when that was still a format that mattered, I guess. <laughs> when is it um, Epiphany still dominant? I imagine still is. I don't know if I have or many people have been playing standard whatsoever lately, so not too much point bringing that up. But that is time walk effects and then copying them with Galvanic Iteration. So we have the the... Um, the take an extra turn upgrade, which is temporal trespass. Uh, you know, this can cost as low as three galvanic iteration can cost two. So on turn five, we're not really doing any ramping like the other decks are. Uh, but on turn five, you could galvanic iteration, temporal mastery, take two turns. And then I think we all remember what happens when you take two turns, you win the game in some, in some way, shape or form. So, uh, then we'll, we'll talk about the rest of the deck and then you can pair it with like Hall of the Storm Giants to be able to deal lethal or maybe flip thing in the ice. A lot of different ways once you take two turns in a row that you can probably figure out the win con. Um, so now let's talk about the rest of the deck. Mana base, 19 lands, you know, all basically blue-red duels. A couple islands just in case, you know, you really need to fetch them out if you get, you know, pathed or field of ruin. Whatever is being played in Pioneer, who knows. Uh, and then a couple of halls. Now the spells, we got eight cantrips. We got consider and opt, both very comparable. Consider is a little bit better because it puts Arclight Phoenixes into the graveyard instead of scrying them top or bottom. One thing we're very much missing from this deck, or a couple things we're very much missing, is uh, Faithless Looting and DRC, Dragon Rage Channeler. Dragon Rage Channeler, not legal in the format. Faithless Looting, you know, was kind of around until it got banned. Actually, I'm not even positive if that's true. I'm not even sure if Faithless Looting was ever legal. Yell at me in the comments and tell me how stupid I am for not knowing what was in Pioneer. Uh, appreciate that, y'all, you know. Nothing nothing better than some comments that like, hey, learn what to do. And I'm like, oh, okay, great. Positive feedback. <laughs> then we're going to look at the removal based. Uh, the rest of our one drops, we got Flame Blessed Bolt. Very good at dealing with, let's say, uh, Cauldron Familiar, Scrounger, Scrap Heap Scrounger, uh, anything where you want to exile it can, be come in, can come in very much handy. Fiery Impulse is as close as we get to Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt's creatures, if you have Spell Mastery, uh, that's very good. And then Lightning Axe, just a ton of them. 
absolutely maxing out four of them you can discard arc like phoenix to it this deck also generates a ton of cards so you're able to have those extra cards that you can kind of throw away and then you can just kind of deal with anything we got the thing and ice we talked about those four expressive iteration it's an is it deck you should play four of them okay next card we got chart of course here a very good card at just paying two drawing two discarding one arc light phoenix whenever i have chart of course in hand and a phoenix that's almost something i always do because then it's just two mana draw two so it's expressive iteration but it's expressive iteration number five six and seven when you have arc light phoenix so it's not as good as expressive iteration but this was the od og expressive iteration uh you know and it's still not even as good that's just a comparison only two treasure crews i was very concerned about this when i picked up this list it's just one of the best cards ever printed you know and like it's absolutely incredible it's doing its best ancestral recall work but when you have to delve stuff away for this to take over the game at some point you can't have too much of this like you can't have four treasure crews four temporal trespassing four dig you just don't have the materials to delve and then pieces of the puzzle is an interesting one this is just screams to me that we're a combo deck and honestly it's pretty true Turn three pieces of the puzzle where you can get two instants, discard Arclight Phoenix, allows for turn fours where you go nuts. So I think what we really want to be doing is like turn one, interact or consider. Turn two, thing in the garbage, thing in the ice. Turn three, pieces of the puzzle, hopefully put some Phoenixes in the graveyard. Turn four, flip everything, flip thing in the ice, bring back a couple arc lights. attack for a ton on turn four is kind of what this list screams to me. Oh, we're going to see when we actually get into it. but And then as far as the sideboard goes, uh, Hallbreaker Horror, not exactly positive exactly where I always want to bring this in, but we'll see. We're going to mess around with that, bring it in here and there. Jace, I would imagine any grindy matchups. Narset's the same as well as those combo decks, pour through the pages decks. Narset's excellent. Dispute, same, combo. Got to gotta deal with those cards. Because otherwise, you look at this deck, and I think the, those combo decks ascendancy and pour over the pages style of decks really take advantage of is it phoenix because you just you know you you don't pressure in the same way you don't pressure that fast we're really not pressuring fast so we got to have a big plan for combo and and that's what this sideboard screams to me is like i'm bad against combo here's a lot of cards we need to take out all this removal because they don't have creatures kind of thing a couple aether gusts green and red stuff gruel and whatnot uh, invasive surgery um believe it or not we're gonna bring it in against sorceries but we'll we'll see where we want that and then a couple anger the gods for some hyper aggressive creatures so all right let's play some is it turns phoenix combo what have you this is a, a little bit of an interesting deck uh to label it but where is it phoenix to its core so let's battle i would like to go first DJ Gray MTG is a Luris deck. It's a lot of lands. We do have turn two thing in the ice. And if we can find something, um, you know, even one spell that we kind of get to copy and stuff, this hand's pretty good. I'm going to keep, if I was on the draw, I would mulligan. But on the play, I mean, we have thing. It, it, this basically is a thing in the ice deck as much as it is an Arclight Phoenix deck. So we're going to try it. We're going to try this one. We would be much happier if this was like expressive iteration because then we know we're kind of wrapped up. Okay, I think this is Luris Burn. I played against this before and I lost. It was, it didn't feel great. Okay, that does feel pretty decent. They don't have a lot of ways to deal with thing unless I block. They just have a lot of is it cards or a lot of bolt cards. So now it's going to be, do I want to ever block? Okay. I mean, I guess now we'll block. It's free, but... Pieces of the puzzle. Okay, well, we said from the beginning, this is kind of what we're trying to do, so let's do it. Okay, so we got some gas. Let's definitely get Flame Blessed Bolt to deal with Eidolon. And, uh, and probably just the other one mana spell, because then we can play one of our two mana spells and kind of go off here. Like, we could go... Bolt this, then double consider. We can do plenty of stuff, but we are not blocking. Because we're about to awaken the horror. 
It might just double removal spell, though, and then we feel sad. Don't care about that. I take it. I take it. I'm at 18. No point in blocking and letting them just wizards lightning my thing away. It's probably going at my face. Yep. So now we're going to hit them for a lot. You know, like, and they're missing a land drop. So... Flame Bless Bolt. Deal with this pesky little critter. And uh, probably consider to start. And then we'll probably just chart a course. Would like to put that into the graveyard. Lightning Axe. So we don't want to play that. Um, because whatever we Lightning Axe, this is going to trigger first. So let's just chart the course. We got extra lands and whatnot. Awaken the Horror. And uh, at this point, I don't think we need another thing. So we die to uh, like Swift Spear, Double Bolt, Land, Boros Charm, Bolt. All these things that I'm okay losing to. Oh yeah, I forget we only discard one. I should have discarded a land. All these things I'm okay losing to. I'm going to be aggressive because we need to close this game or they're going to win eventually. They have five spells in hand. Seven spells now. Or six. They could have a land. So we need to be aggressive. And like if they play two creatures, then, you know, they can live. We can kill one. Yeah. So now if they attack, then they'd be dead. Well, no, they're still just dead. We just lava lightning axe this, huh? Okay. Galvanic iteration. And I, I'm pretty sure this is how it works like we get to discard something uh and then it will copy without us discarding it's similar to um yeah unexpected windfall kind of thing okay got that one so i want some angers um yeah i don't have a great sideboard for this and i think this deck is rather popular so i'm thinking Batatinia is a great player thinks about uh his matchups quite quite well so it's just a thing like okay this should already be a good matchup then with this much removal but it doesn't really seem like it to me but we're gonna find out so now it's what do we want to get rid of the piece of the puzzle there was incredible maybe we just take out the time walks it feels like how we win though so we definitely don't take out any of the removal. The removal is the best. Definitely don't take out Phoenix. I think it's either pieces of the puzzle <clears throat> or charter cars or some of the delve cards. <clears throat> and I think those are kind of like the sacred cow. Like we really don't want to take them out because like they just kind of piece the deck together. I'm going to take out expressive iteration and one pieces of the puzzle. They're both three drops essentially, and I'd like to have the option. I don't think one is infinitely worse than the other. They're both similar roles where we just have a lot of card advantage and cantrips already. So, you know, at some point they get to be a little overused. Okay, I'll keep, it's just okay though. A lot of ways to discard Phoenixes we don't have. Swift Spear. Well, we can definitely discard one of them. We'll go like this. We'll see what they do. No blocks. So I think they're going to play idle on then. So we'll just take this. If they play like light up the stage or something, we get really punished. It's what I'm worried about, but I just have a vibe they're going to idle on. Okay. I vibed correctly. Wow. Okay. That was a good draw. Thing in the ice. Say go. Now it's another situation. Would we want to block? Probably not. I'm going to 
flip it this turn. We might want to buy Lurus this turn. And if we block, that kind of prevents it. I think this one we do block, but could be silly. Okay, I mean, that did eat up five damage, so that's pretty good. And it gave them the turn where they didn't get to buy Lurus. Pieces of the puzzle. Hit some phoenixes. Well, guess I want anger and consider. We did hit a phoenix. I think they know about these cards, though. Yep, they do know about it. So they're either going to go ham or do something this turn. They might just kill us. Three bolts, nine, 12, 15, 16, 17. Yep, three bolts kills me. Hopefully they just have a creature heavy hand and this anger just means they just buy Lurus. Yeah, especially with pieces of the puzzle adding three cards to the graveyard. Like, we're already in time walk mode, but not that that's very good. Yeah, they must just have creatures. Well, cool with that. It's getting a little, a little iffy. Yeah. I think we need to hit land drops and hope to like, you know, double time walk or something. But it is risky. Yeah, I think we just need more. Oh crap. Okay, that puts us to one. We were pretty much dead to a burn spell anyways, so I guess it's not so bad. Um yeah, YOLO. Hope they don't have creatures or spells. Here go. This matchup doesn't feel good. Wow. Wow. Can't believe we are not dead. Okay, so I got to start by killing this. And then I think we just take an extra turn. Or we chart a course and get our Phoenix back. I mean, they are handless now. So now if they brick again. Doing all right. Yeah, I'm going to try to play to win here. Yeah, there we go. Discard this one card. Um, cast with an additional cost. I think we're beyond the points of pieces of the puzzle. So now I'm going to get my phoenixes back. I don't want to die to a, um, I don't want to die to just a random swift spear or something. So if I hit them with this, I put them to eight. That's not enough for lethal next turn, but it is with a time lock. So yeah, let's tag with one. Now I'm not only dead to a burn spell, which is probably still a lot of them, but... Don't kill me. Bye, Lurus. Oh, I won. Leave me alone. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You did. Now they can never cast spells. Or I can just cast this. Uh, whenever a player casts a spell with mana value three or less. So I will just one, two, three, four. However many I need, there's a time walk. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Can't believe we won that game, y'all. Let's keep it going. 
on the draw um yeah it sounds just great right turn two thing turn three pieces of the puzzle that's kind of what we're looking for uh looks like our opponent has mulligan one time what are we up against okay this could be a lot of things in the ice all right let's go like this tap we'll say go i don't know is there like a belcher style deck in here the hell oh to scry so they maybe needed a land interesting awesome here's thing in the garbage the story behind thing in the garbage is my good friend uh um thomas that that we used to be on a testing team with just called it thing in the garbage and it just got it stuck for a whole pro tour we were testing this and he was just hating the card so every time he just stood cast it be like well, play thing in the garbage and probably lose. He's being very pessimistic about it. But now it's stuck. Because most of the time I don't like the card either, but I mean, this is a thing in the ice deck, so. It's thing in the nice right now, not thing in the garbage. Wow, thing in the nice is a nice one. Believe it or not. Give it six power, nine toughness, call it thing in the nice. Nice nice all right we're trying to play magic okay 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 runaway steam kitten well i don't want that to run away with the game so if i have a removal spell i should probably try to do it but do i think they're gonna win the game next turn with this no i don't so let's let's stick to our game plan and we'll have a ridiculous turn next turn. And pieces of the puzzle. This deck just enables everything. Or this card just enables everything. Well, kind of only had the choices there. But still good. Now next turn, we can't bring Phoenix back for sure. AK or flick thing, flip thing in the ice yet. But we can definitely try. We have consider plus chart to find a one drop. And actually... Chart puts a card in the game. No, we can just treasure cruise. We totally can. But I'd like to kill these crappy... Well, no, they're we're going to bounce them. They're screwed. They're so screwed. Okay. So, we just got to make sure we don't screw this up. Let's get another... Probably blue source. But let's start with considering our options. Pieces of the puzzle. Just don't really need we got enough cards um now let's chart the course chart discard arc light phoenix and then we're gonna have to discard but we got a nice little play here and we want to leave the phoenix There's a flipperoo. Bounce them. Draw three. Not even going to be able to see all these cards. All right. Attack for 10. Turn four. No big deal. All right. We don't need the steam vents. This land. Yeah. And no big deal. We just have a bunch of gas now. Nice. Mono red burn, probably, or mono red combo, maybe. Regardless, Aether Gust will be good. Anger will probably still be good. Don't want to over sideboard with Phoenix decks, even though this is a bit of a different style of Phoenix deck. That's still a pretty good rule of thumb. Don't bring in that many cards unless we need to get our removal out. Then we change decks. I haven't played against that yet, but that's what our sideboard yells and demands. The real question is, do I even want Aether Gust? Seems like it's okay, but if they are indeed a hyper aggressive deck, it's not that good. Um, so yeah, I'm only gonna bring in these two. All the expressive iterations seem good too. Like, can't say I'm an expert of sideboarding here, y'all. I'll, I'll give I'll give you that. I'm gonna keep in my things, keep in the phoenixes. I'm gonna take out a chart. And an expressive iteration. It's either that or maybe some pieces of the puzzle on the draw too. But that card has kind of felt like what we want to be doing on turn three, you know? 
So maybe we'll keep chart because that's a play we can do on turn two. And expressive is strictly turn three. We'll take out one piece. Not 100% on that. We are designed for aggro deck. So we shouldn't be sideboarding that much against him. But sounds poop. Poop, poop, poop. Okay. That sounds good. It's key. We got a lot of removal, which is what we want against a mono red deck that looks like it's prioritizing creatures. I almost want to get rid of the anger since we're going to answer stuff, but that feels kind of silly. Could see opt. Could see chart of the course. I think it's probably just between those. I'm going to get rid of opt. I don't know, though. I just don't know. gonna do this now might as well use the two damage spell instead of the one that could possibly be three damage we're gonna do it now we could build up for an anger but let's get that first one out of the way in case they have like light up the stages Ooh. okay well not gonna be able to kill that yet um yeah let's go like this and chart Kinda wanna just get rid of the steam vents and we'll say go. Yeah, an 04 is good against our deck that does a lot of damage to X3s. Could be scary. Electrostatic field, huh? What a time to be alive. Guess it's better than Thermal Alchemist, if anyone remembers that one. Um, with the four toughness compared to three up again in a in an is it Phoenix metagame. Hmm. See what we want to do next turn. Well, I think we probably want to put up our own wall to each opponent. Okay. Yeah, that was actually a pretty good draw here. We're going to just try to bounce those. And honestly, we could do it with not that much. Like now, what do they do? Double bolt us here? Are we even that concerned? We know they have at least four spells in hand. That's something we'll keep, it, keep an eye on, but... Eidolon. Well, I'll respond. Consider my options. So this does just allow us to flip, doesn't it? Right? No, it doesn't. So let's put that into our graveyard. Okay. Could just anger. We're not going to be able to flip this turn no matter what. So we could just do the the spell that like for sure allows us to flip next turn. I like it. Anger. I'll take two. Your go. You got it. Oh, we really just wanted a spell that we could like realistically cast and not have to go um, ham on our thing. So this was perfect. So we get to start by, you want to start by with one of these removal spells to exile and then do this to make sure we flip. I think just none of them really matter, but I guess the haste is the scariest. And now we just cruise. We'll leave one spell and we'll just spend the mana. We cruise in. Play a land. Bang. How can we lose? Bang. This deck is sweet. Wait, what does that do? Oh God, it does things? 
Wow. Never seen that card before in my life. That's quite the card. Wow. Kind of do some damage out of nowhere. Okay. Didn't attack. Um. Here I want to just attack, see what they do, and just draw a bunch of cards. Didn't attack and didn't block? Oh, it didn't give it haste. Okay. Well, that makes sense then. So now I kind of want to double chart the course. I can go up to seven cards. And then we could kill this. I don't see any way that I die with all that. Okay. Iteration. Chart of cores. Now you just get to draw four. And uh, I already played a land. Just kill this now. There we go. This deck feels good. Let's play our last match. I think we keep. We're on the draw. All we need is one land, and we have a decent amount of draws at it. Plus, we have some interaction. Now, it's going to be a slower-ish game because we're just going to be, like, iterating on turn three. But I think this is a keeper, especially on the draw. We'll see what our opponent's doing. Our opponent has mulligan to six magic cards. Now, they have stuck with this. All right, last match of the video. Let's see what they're up against. More red cards? Okay, steam bets. Mirror match. All right. I'll play this, and I'll say go. Now, if they play Thing in the Ice or something, we could deal with it right away. Not the biggest rush, in my opinion, especially if they're not playing anything. Consider and Opt are equal here when we're digging for land, except Consider could hit an Arclight Phoenix, so no. I will take that. Speak of thy devil. There's that. Um, and I think we'll just say go. We're going to draw a lot of cards this game. And hopefully our opponent doesn't have like a heavy Phoenixy draw. That's one thing we're not super set up to beat. This does exile Phoenixes, of course. Iteration, that makes sense. Um, I don't think we have anything that we can get. No, not really, but we'll opt instead. Or just in case. No, thank you. I'd like a land. Okay. Looks like a mirror match here, y'all. Okay, nothing for us to hit. So... That was what I didn't want to see. Be, or, you know, I want to land, but like if I express some iteration here, I put a card to my hand, I play a land, and I'm not really helping myself out too much because I'll have to discard. Or maybe I just play Thing in the Ice here. Makes me sad, but we're going to play that. Get that started. And hope our opponent doesn't go completely nuts. Interplanar Beacon, huh? Fires? Uh-oh. I love that card. What on earth is our opponent playing? But I love fires, y'all. I love it. Okay. I was going to say, I want to try to get this flipped, but I don't think it'll be possible. These are all target creatures. I guess that does go to a planeswalker. Oh, God, we're dead. Okay, well, now we have to iteration. Fires of invention. Yikes. 
All right, pieces of the puzzle to hand. We'll put this land here. We're sad. I guess we get to discard a phoenix, but. At this point, we just want to see what our opponent's playing. Is this Luca? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, not a great follow-up. I wish any of my cards did anything, and then we'd be set, but they don't. That's pretty good. Um <clears throat> so we can We can deal two damage to a Planeswalker with Flame Blessed Bolt. And then, uh, <clears throat> God, this doesn't work out. Can this go to Planeswalkers? No, okay. So I think we have to start with like expressive iteration and try to hit a land. Because there's no, like, treasure cruise things we can do. So what I'm thinking is, like, we Flame Blast Bolt, and then we have Lightning Axe to target our own creature. But if it flips, it'll still live. But that has to be the last spell we do. So there's no way we can go Flame Blast Bolt into cruise into that. So we have to do Expressive Iteration, which is sad. But... And we got a hit. Are those both Spire Bluff canals? Oh my god. Well, I guess we gotta put Opt on top. Oh, what a tilt. Okay, well. We gotta cast Opt and we need to find an untapped red source. I guess or blue source. Who? Always a sweat. Always a sweat. Ah! Oh, we're dead. We're so dead. Fire Bluff Canal. Your go. Uh, yeah. Well, if they don't kill us this turn with whatever this does, maybe we have a shot. Probably not. Wow. Well, they clearly don't have any super ultimate going on. Well, I mean, we can do some... Oh, that's probably bad. I was going to say, we can do some crazy stuff next turn if we get another turn. Casualties of War. Pretty good. Can, like, take an extra turn, set some stuff up. This isn't the worst. All right, we're going to need lands. Could try to set up a combo turn where we take two turns and just really try to, like, you know, treasure cruise this turn. We can deal with this Teferi, which is pretty good. So let's, let's try all this. All right, we're just going to start with Treasure Cruise. Do we start with Treasure Cruise? Maybe not. Maybe we start with an Opt. All right, let's start with Opt. I do want to land. Good time walk. We have to get rid of eight cards. That's a lot. Or we Cruise... And then see where we can go from there. All right. Do, 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 do. 
You're cruising. And I wish there was a way to discard this Arclight Phoenix. Do we want to opt to try to find... Oh, I guess we don't have a great option. But we're definitely going to opt anyways. Don't want a piece of the puzzle. I already have plenty of those. Okay, there's the combo piece. So not bad. Now let's go like this. We'll get rid of that. Oh yeah, it was only two damage, huh? Yeah, that's brutal. Well, I'm still gonna attack to fairy. And uh, probably just a lightning axe because I do want to, if I discard lightning axe, that goes to six cards. Galvanic iteration is to seven. And then I still can't double spell. So I need them to destroy something of mine or activate this. If they activate this, we have a chance. So yeah, I'm gonna discard this. I'm gonna discard the non-Phoenix. This is just four color fires super friends. Uh, I've played this deck before. But if we can take some turns and I can just have a whole setup turn. That hurts a little bit, but we're still all right. Nicole Bullis, Dragon God. Oh. Wait, if that makes us discard, that's actually good. Exile a card. Dang it. Okay. Well. Exile this. I need you to. I need them to activate this. Um. So close, one card away from being able to take multiple turns. So if that's the case, we just have another setup turn and just hope to God we're alive for next turn. All right, pieces of the puzzle. Okay. There's some cards. Can't consider now because of Narset. So we'll just say go. Hope there is a next turn. But it looks like our time walk stuff is gonna be pretty good against them at some point, you know? Um. All right, discard Arclight Phoenix. <clears throat> I could consider now for a Flame Blessed Bolt. We do have one more and kill Teferi at upkeep. I might as well. Yeah, I guess we'll keep that one. And just hope for the best. They're going to do some things. We'll tell you that. Hopefully they're not good things. Okay, that looks pretty good. Opponent exiles two cards from their hand. I don't super care about that. Okay. Gonna need to rebuild after this. So yeah, we gotta get rid of this. Oh, exiles two cards. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, now we're in a lot of trouble. All right, now we need to top deck a land. Uh, 
Oh, shoot. Okay, now we're dead. <laughs> All right. Well, that's how much we could do there. All right, Aether Gust for Fires is going to be good. Bunch of Planeswalkers then. We do just need to get a lot of this, remove a lot of our deck, because that's pretty bad. Um, disputes seem fine. And then it's like Jace or Narset. And I think Narset's better. Because they draw some cards. Yeah, let's get these red cards out of here. Hope for the best. All right, that was a beating. We were so close. So close to kicking their butts. All right, we'll keep. All right, Vanilla James, you're going down. I like their deck. I love me some Fires of Inventions. I might still try to do some Luca stuff in Pioneer. Let me know what you think of uh, Pioneer content, y'all. I know I'm going to probably be able to evaluate by the numbers a little bit. But I also just want to hear what you think, you know, if this is a format that you enjoy watching. If not, um, this week we're trying it out because, well, I'm testing for it. I'm testing for a PTQ that I really want to win on Friday. You know, more than likely I'll be commentating it anyways. But I still like to prove that I could be a pro, you know. Um, even if that's not always true. Sometimes I'm a fish. But we're going to be doing that. We're going to be doing a little bit of alchemy content. Um, to get y'all ready for that arena open and then you know we'll probably switch back to modern uh, after the hype is over but that's kind of what to expect for the week is uh, a couple alchemy videos you know uh, I think I know what I'm gonna play I think I want to play some blue white control so we'll probably show off that but I did already do that deck so you know maybe we'll, we'll check out some of the the more fun options uh, for alchemy as well So let's go with a land and say go. I think I like starting with opt over charter course. If I had Phoenix, I think I would uh, put the coast into play first. All right. Yeah, their fires deck is not going to do a lot early. Wow, okay, well, that is a win con, but we do need to like hit lands as well. Yeah, I think we just need to hit lands too much. If we're going charter course on turn three, that's just far too bad. Yeah, we would have drawn pieces and just went land go. Still not great, but we can at least do this. I will not put that on to the graveyard and then we're not gonna do anything. So we're just gonna go like this and say go. And I think it's time to find some pieces to the puzzle because, well, we need it. We do have a little bit less spells in, in our deck now, so it's not as good, but I still think it's going to be the play. Yeah, and I think we still want blue. Going down to five cards, up to seven, ideally. <clears throat> Okay, so Arclight Phoenix is going to the graveyard. We don't have any way to beat a Narset if they go land Narset. Um, I want to take the one drop for sure. Then Expressive Iteration, I suppose. And we'll say go. We should likely be able to flip next turn if they don't Narset us. If they Narset us, then I think we're just dead. I think that's a hole in our deck. A little bit. It's like, how do we how do we beat that card? But luckily, they did not have it. Okay, so I think we have to start with consider. I'd like to put that into the gar into the garbage into the graveyard. Um, and now we can do another one. We can just start with a treasure cruise here, and exile everything but the phoenix. But maybe we don't want to do that if we hit a land. And save the treasure cruise. Yeah. And now we can just chart and then we don't have to discard. Otherwise, we're just gonna have to discard the hand size, you know? 
We could try to cruise to find a counter spell, but none of them count counter fires anyways. So I don't think it's worth it. So yeah, let's chart. Discard probably a pieces of the puzzle here. I think we have enough pieces of the puzzle. And let's attack for three. Now next turn, we could start the turn off by drawing six cards. Galvanic Iteration, Treasure Cruise, and see what's up. Okay, we don't mind that. We really might do that. Okay, well, we kind of want to chart the course as well. But we can do all of these things. We also just don't have to. If we just want to go like, no, we kind of do have to. All right. Galvanic Iteration. Treasure Cruise. No! Oh! Got rid of a Galvanic Iteration on accident. All right. Draw six cards. Okay. There is the time walk. Um... But we can't do it this turn. We will combo off next turn. But for now, we chart. We discard the Phoenix. Bring it back. Attack. Discard some useless lands. More cards, huh? We want to keep the one land. And probably, I guess, get rid of the opt. Three, eight. Yeah, one more card. All right, opt. All right, your go. Now next turn, we get to take two turns. Yeah, detention spear me all day, every day. And now they're in trouble. Here we go. One, two, three. Do have enough cards, right? 10, nine, yep. Havanic iteration, couple of turns. Then we'll have a setup turn and then we'll do it again. This is the other part of what this deck can do, being a, a turns deck, essentially. Okay. So now just all set up this turn. Let's go with expressive iteration to start. Okay, so I like a lot of these cards. Um, I kind of want to get Narsa in play. God, even the Gust is good if they find, you know, if we continue this game. Put Gust into my hand. I'm going to put the Phoenix away and I'm going to put Narsa here. Three, Narset. Obstacle dispute, chart the course. Um, yeah, let's chart a course. Let's chart away right now. It's one too many of those. Now we'll say go. We take another turn. Let's check again. Try to do the same play if we have the option. Okay. They're just like, yep, yeah, you got too many cards. We were going to win. It was going to take uh, some figuring out, of course. But, yeah, I think we like everything about this. I like how those games kind of played out. We're going to do the same. Okay. I like this hand. Sounds great. Gonna play thing on two and probably have to defend against stupid uh, fires, but let's see. It's been a fun match. It's been a fun deck. I, I've and just a fun format. I've been really liking this. So we might even get some more Pioneer content before Friday, y'all. Uh, if you like it, you know. I'm a 
I'm a man of the people here, so if y'all don't like it, we won't do it. Now, that won't be true for everything, because there's some formats I just like playing, like Death Shadow. You can like it, or you won't. You're going to get Death Shadow content from me. It's my favorite deck. All right, let's consider our options. And eh, we got enough lands. We'll bin that one. Okay, now it's the, do we want to play around Narset? Which I don't think, you know, unless we draw a dispute, we just can't. And I don't even think we'd do it anyways. But we'll see. All right. Thing in the garbage. Your go. No Narset would be cool. We just have to play the game in a little bit different way. Which isn't ideal. Okay, that's fine. Now it's the question of do we want to allow them to maybe hit us with fires? Not really. But otherwise we're doing nothing here. I just can't let them fires. It's too bad. But if they just go Narset or something, we feel real bad. Expressive iteration, even getting around Narset is pretty messed up. Even Detention Sphere is pretty good. Narset's pretty good. Really just want them to play Fires. You know, that's, that's kind of kind of what we want here. Gust this. Yeah, I'm gonna see where they put it. Just really want to use that gust. Put it on bottom. Probably leads to believe that they had fires. They just didn't want to cast it. Okay. I think we will iterate. Opt and consider. We can flip. Um, yeah. Opt to hand. Consider on top. Mm. Nope, we'll keep that one. Here's an opt. We'll keep that one. All right, do your worst. If they just kill this, then we can take two turns next turn. But if they exile it or bounce it with Teferi, then we can't. Let's see what they got. Gotta think there's gotta be a fires, right? Could just be Teferi or something. Which would also be pretty good. That's fine. Still can't do our temporal whatever play, but that's okay. Okay, well, let's try to get that down. We'll start with expressive iteration. Well, awkward. Could just pieces of the puzzle here. And like put a Phoenix to our hand and just pieces. 
don't mind it. I also don't mind just getting the land. Pieces of the puzzle does seem pretty good right now. Land and pieces. Maybe we just don't want the arc light. I think I can be about that because we're going to go land pieces then we're going to get up to eight cards and then we'll discard this arc light. Yeah. All right. Pieces of the puzzle. Okay. Discard this Phoenix. And now next turn we get to combo. And if we get a one drop, we get to also attack with a Phoenix. There's Narset. Everyone's favorite little pesky planeswalker. So now our charter courses are taken off. Now we can try to, so they got anger. They can, we can try to, we really just need a one drop. We don't need it. We just really want it. Otherwise we can do some other stuff, but hmm, it might make us discard. Well, I mean, that's amazing if they have a counter spell. Still think we want to just play the safe route and take two turns. And then we'll figure out how to kill Narset. With pieces of the puzzle, probably. All right. Gavanic iteration. I think they might have a counter spell. This might work out perfect. We get to counter something and then bring back Phoenix. That's just absolutely perfect. Then we get to kill Narset and start drawing cards and everything is going to go downhill for them. Okay. Um... Well, discard shard, of course. Now I'll just, you know, pay the four here. All right, two turns for me. Now we'd like to bring something back. We can just thing and get stuff set up this turn. That seems like it might be correct. Thing. Now iteration to start. Okay, galvanic iteration to hand. This exile, Hall of Storm Giants here. And, uh, yeah, let's say go. Now, we need to cast three spells. Three, two, two. So we can just get this all with Galvanic Iterations and Pieces of the Puzzle. How sweet is this? I think we do this. Because then we'd go up to, we'd have three pieces of the puzzle. So yeah, we'd get a bunch of new cards. Two. And then we would attack for 10. Or we just pieces of the puzzle and try to find a spell. But if we brick, then we're kind of punished. All right. Galvanic. Galvanic. I just don't see any like over the top thing that they can do that'll kill us. So let's just get a bunch of cards even if we don't win this turn or whatever. You know, we got three pieces of the puzzle on the stack. 
And yeah, if we just hit phoenixes and go to the graveyard, then they're just dead. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Okay. So treasure cruise and pieces. Didn't hit yet. Need him on the last one. Phoenixes. There's one. Oh, wait. It's 13, isn't it? Dang it. Okay. Well. 10, 13. We have no way, no kind of reach, so. All right. We'll attack. We don't need this many disputes. Okay, here go. Not all the woods now because we know they have um, an anger. So if they compare that with dealing with that, then, you know, we're back to the drawing boards as it will, but we got a lot of things to draw with. Oh, we do just have the hall, too. The hall is just probably going to be lethal. Like, they have to deal with this and the Awoken Horror and now the hall. Yeah, there we go. Six. Deck the halls. Bang. Easy 3-0. Easy. Easy. We did it. We did it. All right, everyone. That was a pretty sweet deck. I uh, might be playing it for the PTQ on Friday. You can watch my stream. It's below in the comments if you want to check it out. Uh, I'll be streaming it live and hopefully having some fun if you're a Pioneer fan, okay? Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.